Hey guys, how's it going? Rubik's Master coming at you with a video of a different game. I know, it's a crime. Whatever. I'm a little tapped out on War Commander for today. Uh, I'm coming out with a new video on War Commander tomorrow and hopefully for the next while, but just was in the mood for something a little different today, and this game is the new Power Rangers game that came out, I think, late last week. Anyway, it's really, really new, and surprisingly has less than a million downloads. But y'all should definitely go try this out. It's kind of like Clash Royale on steroids, in disguise as a fighting game. Instead of deploying your troops, you are deploying your attacks, and you still have the whole... Uh, elixir in quotes and here's like power or whatever recharge that you have to do to use your attacks the easiest way to show all this is just to jump in it there is a rock paper scissors attribute to it which is strike attacks beat breaker attacks beat defenses beat striker attacks striker attacks being generally light damage fast breaker attacks being heavy damage slow and defenses being either your character has a shield that regularly cycles through but he also, like, one of my support characters, oh wow, that's not good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Get wrecked, son. That's right, and he's probably gonna use his shield, oh no, he didn't have a shield, okay, but he doesn't realize I have my assist guy coming up. There you go. Oh no. Whew, I was able to dodge that. That is a projectile attack, which you can dodge by jumping or sliding or what have you. Um, like I'm doing there, jumping backwards. If you do that during a projectile attack, you will... Come on, come at me, bro. I got my thing for you. There you go, there you go. Go, go, go. Oh no. Come on, I pressed my assist move. Yet it did nothing. Come on, don't fail me now. But I have nothing to actually attack him with. Oh, wow, that may actually win us. That's going to win us. No! Oh, my goodness, that was so close. We were one health point ahead. If I would have just hit my shield move, I could have won that. Oh, that's ridiculous. Ah, okay, so when you first start playing this game and you're playing against other noobs, the games tend to go pretty quickly, and you um, they generally end in someone being knocked out. When you get to a, when you play for a little while and you start playing against people who have been playing for a while in comparison to when the game came out, which is a few days ago, the games start taking a little longer and many times you'll find they last all the way until the time runs out and it's just the person with the most health left wins, which can be a little frustrating. Okay, this person has the same, de I pushed defense. Come on, push out your defense, push out your defense, I'm ready for you. Oh, you waited too long. Oops, I, that, that was a bad on me. Come on, I swiped, man, I'm getting my butt kicked. And I about just leaped straight into that. And I definitely leaped straight into that. Get wrecked. Come on, attack me, attack me, attack me. There you go, now I know you've used your... What? There we go, I actually successfully dodged that one. And for some reason, this thing is just absolutely lagging to death, as you can see. What? Give me a break, man. I am getting destroyed here. There we go. Got her on that one. And I'm going to get her on this one, too. And I have no 
nothing, nothing left to do an attack. Ooh, big mistake there, girlie. Come on, hit me. Holy cow, I feel like this is lagging almost. It feels like my defense moves are not coming up. I'll click them. It feels like it's a full half second, which can be the difference between victory and defeat in this game, and it's just not popping up my defense. I haven't had that experience before. I still feel like recommending this game and saying it's great, but this is kind of a new thing for me to be experiencing this much of a gap. Okay, that's cool. So these are all um, like you would get cards in Clash Royale, but in, instead of do, getting them from troops, you get them for the different Power Rangers. Some of your Power Rangers are your main attackers, and some of the Power Rangers are support characters. Support characters are the ones that you see me switch out as. They're in a, they have one specific attack they use. Some of them are light, some of them are ranged, some of them are heavy, some of them are defensive. I am running with a ranged light attack. Get wrecked soon. Oh no, that was a bad choice on my part. I did not see that one coming. Alright, gonna whip that dude out there. No! Ooh, I barely dodged that one. And I'm not gonna dodge. Oh wow, I did dodge that one. Oh, he got that attack out a split second before I did. Uh-oh, and I have nothing left to do defenses with. Yeah, he got a really good combo there. He pinned me in that corner. And good on him. Good on the, him with that one. What? Get wrecked. Oh no, I used that. Oh wait, no, no, didn't quite use that too far away. Get out of here, man. Here we go. This fight is going much better. I feel like this is... Okay, he wasn't quite... Okay, I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this as long as I can just not get hit. Okay, there we go. Good. Third fight. I wanted this to be my final one anyway. And that was, I think, an awesome example of how strategic and fun one of these fights can be. It's just... Uh, it gives you... The... Games are... I kind of gauge games on the feeling they give you. This game gives me an awesome feeling inside. As really when I win... But especially with a good fight, whether you win by 30 points or even if you lose by 30 points, it gives you a good feeling either way because you know it was a good fight. You were up against someone who had a comparable level of skill and you know you fought your best. And it's just a really good feeling to have that satisfaction out of a game, even when you lose. You guys really need to download this and give it a try. Really amazing. It Honestly, I think it blows Clash Royale out of the water. And, a little side note here, the matchmaking in this game, much, 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 much better than Clash Royale. Clash Royale matchmaking sucks. <clears throat> It'll put you, Clash Royale will put you against people that are so much higher level than you, and you just get wrecked by them over and over. This game, it may just be that it's new, but I haven't experienced that. It's generally a really nice, fair fight. There is the random chance, though, because your attacks and defenses do cycle through randomly. So if you go through, up, uh, if you go through like three cycles without having a defensive move, or you just spawn into the game without a defensive move, the fight's going to be a lot harder for you. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this game. Really, please download it, give it a try. It's really refreshing and new. <clears throat> but anyway, until tomorrow when I pick up War Commander Rogue Assault again. Y'all have an awesome day.